Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, a beautiful, most amazing Lord God Jesus Christ has come to bless us with another beautiful prophetic word. And the Lord God says that it's going to be very good this month. All that you have to do is to believe. Belief is important. Your faith is important. Because of your faith, the prophecies are fulfilled. Because the prophet will prophesy with his or her own faith. But you must receive it by your own faith. The one who receives it will have it. If you are not receiving it, you will never have it. So you must learn to receive it, not deny, but to receive it. The big blessings are coming. The very good blessings are coming this month itself. And you will receive the elevation, the growth this month itself. You might think that it is difficult to climb up. The circumstances are scary. It is not usual. It is not giving you peace, but it is only for a while because this is the season of growth. So it is going to be very good. It may seem to be difficult. It looks like it is impossible. You don't want to have it because you're very close to the elevation. The elevation is tough. It's difficult because you are growing. When you are growing only then it is very good. You might deny, you might say, Lord, remove this cup away from me. It is impossible. It is difficult. Your previous life was easier, but now it looks like it's difficult. It is difficult than what you had experienced earlier, what you had gone through earlier. But my beloved ones, it is difficult because you are climbing. You are in the season of growth, in the season of elevation. Due to this, you are guarded by the holy angels. You are not able to move. Your situation seems to be difficult. There are many things which you are not able to accept, which are not according to your liking. But my beloved ones, everything shall be settled soon. So all that you have to do is to stick to it. You will have to stay there. You will have to be still. You will have to receive this resurrection wherever you are. Now, last night I didn't sleep because all night I kept on praising the Lord and I was filled with the pouring of the Holy Spirit and it was majestic, it was beautiful. I was smiling all night, I was receiving it, I was speaking in tongues, I was praising the Lord and the river of the prophetic was flowing through my body, through my bone marrow. So this is happening, you are also receiving this oil. But yesterday morning, I had touched the altar of the living God by sowing the seed by faith. The seed with understanding, the seed by faith. The seed, when you sow, you know that you are touching the altar of the living God. You are sowing it on the altar of the living God. When the prophet is saying, when your pastor is saying that you must sow the seed, then you know that it is from the Lord. It is the message from the Lord. When you sow the seed, you receive the impartation, you receive the anointing. You must touch the altar of the living God by faith. When I did it yesterday, yesterday morning, I sowed the seed being led by the Holy Spirit according to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And yesterday, all night, I received the pouring of the prophetic anointing, the pouring of the apostolic anointing. And today I am in an overflow. As a result, I am blessing you with the Holy Spirit. As a result, I prophesy over your life that it is going to be very good. And when I say it shall be very good indeed, you will say that yes, our beloved Jesus is good because the word of God says, taste and see that the Lord God is good. When I came here today, it was unexpected. I had not planned it, but I came to this place because the Lord said that it is His will. It is the Lord's will for you. It was difficult for me to climb up here because it was not planned. I didn't even wear my sports shoes. So it was not planned, but I reached here. So the Lord says, according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11, even if you had not planned it, it will happen because the Lord has planned it for you.
when the Lord has planned it for you, it will manifest according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11 because the word of God says that the Lord God has plan and purpose for you and it will be according to the expected end. And now it's drizzling and I am recording this video. I never expected that but I always wanted to be happy when it is drizzling and I am recording the video. So you will also receive the likable and the expected end the expected end is very good expected end is peaceable expected end is majestic and you want to glorify our beloved jesus you will magnify him according to the desire of your heart because as you are receiving the holy spirit as you are receiving the spiritual anointing as you are receiving the anointing from me your spiritual mother to you from my spirit womb to your spirit womb as your umbilical cord is getting connected to that of mine the blessings are flowing from the altar of my spiritual father to me and from me to you so my beloved ones you will also receive the flowing of the spirit the holy spirit will flow into your bone marrow so that you will live a prophetic life not leaning on your own understanding but by understanding the will of the lord it is only when you know him you are the true believer when you know your lord god if you keep saying i don't know i didn't know you have not yet become a believer because the righteous one know their lord god the righteous one can hear the voice of the lord the righteous one are his sheep and his sheep will always hear the voice of the shepherd the sheep will know the shepherd the sheep will keep on grazing because they know they have a very good shepherd my beloved ones you will continue you will receive it you will also graze bountifully you will also receive the rich green and prosperous life because you have a good shepherd my beloved ones when you are anointed you are on the green pastures so you must receive this green pastures this anointing which will take you to the green pastures according to psalms 23 he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me besides the still waters where there is no lacking at all where there is no lacking at all you may consume as much as you want the blessings the financial blessings the spiritual blessings will go on consuming you will use the money you will use the finances but even then there will be no lacking you will keep on growing spiritually you will keep on praising the lord you will keep on giving it to other people but you will not lack anything so there will be spiritual flow there will be financial flow because the lord god says that this month it's going to be very good and i prophesy over oh, your life that indeed it shall be very good in the mighty name of jesus amen lord is my shepherd i shall not be in want we thank all those who are honoring the lord with their wealth and for all the offerings we bless you with a hundredfold of return my beloved ones if you have not yet received our lord god jesus christ if you have not yet received the holy spirit we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand our father in heaven we come into your presence to our lord jesus christ and today we receive salvation we receive holy spirit into our heart oh lord forgive us our sins and help us to be born again we shall seek you O lord jesus christ unto zion in jesus mighty name amen my beloved ones with the small prayer of repentance your sins are forgiven and you have received holy spirit within you you shall walk the walk of righteousness